G'day mate and welcome back to Factory and our belted mega base with me, JD. Um so first off I need to apologize for no no episodes last weekend. Um Clustorio was just released. Being it's a massive multiplayer, if you don't get on and play, it's gonna happen without you. So um I spent as you know most of last weekend I couldn't find uh, most of last weekend playing Clastorio and being on the multiplayer server. It was great fun. Um, loved it. But now it's time to actually get this show back on the road. So first things first is we were halfway through making red circuits. Um, I want to finish making red circuits. Especially now we've got all the speed modules. Because I just decommissioned all the speed modules that we weren't using. Which was a lot of them. Um, the base is still trying its absolute hardest to make more speed modules and more prod mods. Prod mods are up here. And look, it'll get there, but we need this up and running as soon as possible. And honestly, I'd like to swap it over to a 12 beacon build, but that costs more speed modules. We don't have speed modules. So we're just going to keep the build as it is, an 8 beacon build. Um, so this, well, this... Assembler is affected by one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beacons. Um, so the plan is to get this swapped over, yeah, get this built as quickly as possible so we can start making, uh, we can start making speed modules as fast as possible. Um, and prod mods because we're going to need them. So, uh, other thing is now we've got all the beacons in. That's why I minimized that. Let's get rid of... Uh, no, we're going to have to go with small font. Uh, buy back. Oh, there it is. Um, Now we've got this built. Let's bring that up again. We know we're going to use 11, 11, and 11. All right? But a blue blue belt moves 40 items. So if I paste these four, four of these back to back... We won't quite, well, we'll use all the belt and won't quite be able to run the last couple of assemblers, but that's fine. For simple ease, it's easier to just to build it out to use 44 items and know the last couple won't run rather than try to feed in extra materials partway along the belt. Um, the other thing I need to do is, whilst playing Clastorio, I ran into Mojo. Now, um, I don't know whether you guys know who Mojo is. It's it's another Australian, uh, shit. We'll do it. Really, it's fun. Um, he's another Australian, um, Twitch streamer. And he told me about belt stops, which originally, I didn't believe him. I, I really, really didn't believe that it would make an ounce of a difference. Uh, should try. I should have really showed it before and after. Let's do it before and after. Uh, there, there, there. Okay. So, it's all about optimizations. That's really how you build a bigger and bigger and bigger and better base. Uh, and what he showed me was something he's coined as belt stubs. And look... As far as I've said, the title works perfectly. Uh, this box is going to fill up so much crap. So, I've turned on the debug menu. Show active state. Um, and show active state is... It shows when the inserters are actually doing something. So, we'll pull these out. Uh, and you'll see the inserter... That little red light will disappear. Because he has something to do. Okay, um, same with these assembly machines. When I pull this out, that little red dot disappears because the assembly machine has something to do. When it has something to do, it's not in a sleep cycle. If it's not in a sleep cycle, it's actually using performance of the computer. Um, these belts are all backed up, so technically they're not doing anything. If I clear a belt, that's when the game actually has to process what's on the belt. And like at the other end, I'll have to process... Uh, these rear assemblers to actually do stuff to pump more green circuits in which will then 
have to process these rear um, smelters to actually process to put more uh, copper plate into the system. Same with the iron ones. Um, that's basically, you know, how you create, you know, performance degradation from one end of the belt to the other. Um, everything is relative and reactive to one another. But, show active states. So, in theory, if this guy is full, he's got nothing to do. And actually, I want a piece of yellow belt. Just one, a couple of pieces. I'll put some yellow belt in there. That'll slow down this whole belt. Yeah, we know. We know for a fact. If this guy is full, he shouldn't... His inserter shouldn't do anything ever. Um, same goes with this end. If this guy is full and doesn't have anything anywhere to output, this inserter should stay off. Now, hopefully my example works. And if I give those inserters something to do... No. Okay, let's do it that way. Uh... So right now you can see this guy doesn't have anything to do at all and yet he's not going into a sleep state now let's even try one better do i have any on me no. okay. let's have you and let's tell you to pick up uh, substations so he's told to pick up substations now, he should only do something if he sees a substation on the tile in front of him. That's the only th time he should do something. And then, now, if we're going to put that on there... His little red circles disappear. He's no longer in a sleep state. Like, this one's doing nothing. Because the belt was backed up. He's still not entering a sleep state. None of these guys are entering a sleep state, except the ones, like, right on the end. And even then, they're doing it rarely. So... What we did to, well, what Mojo pointed out to fix this is he would add what he called a belt stuff. Remove that top. Uh, bring that one there. That on there to keep going forward. Right, we'll let everything back up again, have some green circuits. Probably too many. Plastic. Okay. Now, these inserters, I'm only looking at these three pieces of belt. Rather than looking at the whole belt going back however many tiles. Um, my argument is they're looking back 100 tiles because, or 200 tiles, whatever it is, ask a dev. Um, because the way the game now runs is... One or 200 belt segments, I count as one belt item. All right. Um, so now in theory, if we put that on there. You'll see these guys stay in a sleep state more often. And it's just cutting down UPS. That's all it is. Um, these guys are hovering in and out. All right. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit slow because we, we, we've slowed down to a yellow belt. But if I take this back up to blue belt speed, which is what it is normally, we'll see sleep state, sleep state. Yeah, you know, by all means, when one ticks on, the other one comes out of sleep sleep mode as well. Honestly, having more stubs would probably be better. The catch is, each time I pull up, I, I pull the belt, you know, off. This is now calculated as a whole new belt segment. On top of that. And uh, there's another debug menu here somewhere. Show... Trans belt line gaps. So, same story. Anytime you can see these little lines change color, that's when we've created a new belt segment, which has to be calculated. So this is one segment. That's another segment. That's another segment. As you can see, they've both got two rows for the, you know, the top row and the bottom row. Um, you can see when these guys are pulling cable out, that's making a new segment. When they're putting circuits in, that's creating a new cir segment. So, this is how the game's actually processing things, and... You know, you can't run around and play the game like this. It, it would be far too ugly, and you get really, really sick. Sick of it really, really soon. Um, but with the debug menu, you can sort of see and make assumptions on how the game is calculating things. Like... Obviously, 
this little icon here means that's a side loading. I don't know what you want to call it. And you can see this one's white all the time. But because it's white all the time, it's never ever being broken. It's never being processed. This one here is white all the time. It's only ever being processed when that's being dropped on. Right? Sure. Um, these inserters are breaking it up again when they're trying to pull off. Even though they're pulling off the bottom half. Um, but they're reaching for it, which again is, is causing processing. Uh, turn that one off and turn that one off. So, that's the little lesson that I learnt during my my little session playing Class Storio. Uh, which was an interesting lesson to learn. I will say that. And I, I, and I appreciate Mojo taking the time to explain what it was talking about and the improvements that can be found in these little changes um in saying that we changed over on the clusterio server we did science where's science so science i use my science build because it's super compact um so i i, I rebuilt this on the clusterio server also found out that 55 of these in a row is a full blue belt's worth um i don't even know how many i built on this server uh 52. Um, so there you go. I, I did build it for a full blue belt. Um, well, half a blue belt. 54 in a row. We changed over this build right, to use the belt stubs, which which took, took a little bit of spaghetti to get it done, but we got it done. Um, and we did, Mojo actually did this during one of his streams on a creative world. And we got 30% extra performance out of just changing the way the belts worked. Right? That's massive when you're talking about, you know, mega base scale. Um, but anyway, now that's out of the way, I want to get this done. So we want to take, uh, we want three of these in a row. And you can see I'm overlapping the beacons intentionally because I want, uh, Let's go all the way to there. Uh, um, I I want to make sure we keep our tiling. Um, I don't mind if it's a little bit longer, and I really don't mind if I've got like the equivalent of a wasted beacon because of this input. But I want to get this worked out and worked out properly in the first place. Um, now I do need to get copper cable down or copper plate down here and I'd really like to do it in line with everything else. That's gonna be tricky. Drop and pick back up. Takes the room of two photos I have. Photos worth I do here. But that means no power poles. Power oh god this is gonna be pain. Alright. So bear with me. Uh, okay, so the power poles have to go away. They're going to be in my way. Uh, okay. Drop, pick up, drop, pick up. Yep. Yep. Spaghetti a hoe. Um. Okay. And then to get the power poles back in. Uh. There to there. There to there. Hopefully it's not power poles. I'll just shove a power pole in there. So. That applies to that. Okay. Now, so we to get that copper cable further along the, the, the monstrosity that is this build. Let's trim all of that out. And all of that. 
because we've now got a, a sort of a blueprint we're going to follow. Uh, that roughly. There. There. Shit. I lined that up wrong. Yep. Lined that up wrong. Still meant to be a copper cable machine. Okay, and bacons. Okay. So now we've got that done, we're going to work out how the hell... How the hell do I get the copper plate? So if I scop copy this bit of spaghetti here, put it from there to there. Uh, where'd that go? Place that in there. Grenades. I don't think I need grenades just at the moment. Uh, remove that and remove that. Place that in there. Right, so that should be a completed build. Hopefully. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. So that means, if I then go with a splitter here. Oops, wrong belt. That means I should get copper plate out here. Good. Which gives me copper wire, which should come across to here. Yeah. Copper plate, which should give me copper wire. Nope. It pays to check these things out. Oh, you're actually missing the inserter. That's fine. Okay. I have a building train somewhere, don't I? No. Actually, I have a feeling we were going to go rebuild the building train. That's where we did it. Uh, we better just, let's just, okay, uh, builder, what I made a whole separate outpost track, where are you, oh, you're actually right below me, this is what happens when you don't play the game, play this game, for such a long amount of time, forget where all your stuff is, forget where I left my crap, uh, we'll pick up those as well. I really want faster robots. I desperately want faster robots. Okay. I've still got inserters left over, so that means that's running. That's the beacons. What I need to do is link that belt up with that belt, with that belt, and voila, we have production. Production on a mass scale. Okay. Oh, I have a shit ton of red circuits and bits of pieces left over, and yep. Uh, I need a trash train shortly. See, you are a trash train. Auto trash. Take red circuits out of the auto trash. I have some green circuits, I have some plastic, I have some red circuits. Because home base can deal with all that crap. Uh, what I come down here for? Rod mods. Nope. 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 Did I not put... That's it, they're empty. Yeah, they're empty. Okay. <coughs> Still. We need to have the start of a build. Uh, now also know we can move that blueprint, grab another copy of that whole build, and go paste. 
in its beauty and just dump it down. And how many coppers do we have? We had two spare coppers. Okay, so they're obviously both coming here. Underground. What else do we need? Lots of all the things. Beacon. Underground. Not need red under. Maybe not though. It now also means I'm gonna go through a lot more splitters in my builds. I'm gonna add these these stubs everywhere. Uh you can go that way. You can go here. Underground that. Nope. Rip that up. Have some copper plate. Uh, Trying to get the rest of this built out as quickly as possible. We need assemblers, we need inserters, we need underground. No, okay. I don't need any of those things actually. Alright, so that's two red circuit builds. You know, apart from all the modules. All the modules in the world. Uh, has plastic. And this outputs three green circuits. We've used. Actually, we know that does. Actually, we need another belt of plastic. Bring a belt of plastic. Ah! Yes, still have to get a belt immunity. Still haven't done it. A little bit pissed off that it's going to take some room in my power armor. Uh, and funnily enough, I found out that if you run out of power in your armor, it doesn't work. Breaks. Um, so, the quickest way to do this is literally pump it straight in. Does that work? There's two belts in. We're not taking one belt that way. I don't think that works. How much are you pulling? You're pulling 11. We've only got 22. So I've got room for two builds in this. Okay. So it does mean everything from there on was absolutely useless. Hey, check your maths. Where that build? Right. Means we just do it that way instead. All right. That also means that for that. No, that stayed. Really, bots? You stole my underground. How rude. How rude, how rude, how rude. Oh. Hey, can't fix shit. Good. Have uh, some plastic. Uh, Alright, stop auto trashing that and that. It's, it's easier to deal with on site. Is you just dump these products into existing builds and it is to auto trash it and have to wait for me to physically go somewhere to deal with it. But don't get me wrong, I will definitely trash sh shit like good amount of that and that and that and that.
There's just empty barrels. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with it. Got a miner in there as well. One miner. Okay. Alright, so it means. Oh, thanks, autosave. This is why I never get enough done in the episode. Alright. So, that be wrong. Uh, we want. Bit for there and a bit for there. Oh. It's shorter that way. Easy to see that I hopefully can't screw them up. So that splitter goes there. That splitter goes there. We then need a splitter for the splitters. Around there to there. That way. That way. Papa. Into that. Into that. Rip that bit up. Throw that copper into that machine so I don't have to deal with it. Okay. So that's that problem solved. Uh. Then we need one of those there. Okay, so that's that, that's that. That's plastic, so we just need green circuits, which are all the way over here. Of course they are. Belt's being me around. Oh shit. Wanna over it. Not there. And the construction goes back where it was. You have some green circuits. All right. We have red circuits. We have probably fifteen. 30, 60, so we got one and a half belts worth. Not a lot. Um, not a lot, but it's a start. Oh, dude. All right, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, we covered belt stubs and we got more red circuits built. Um, it's not an ideal build, it's not an ideal episode, but I figured belt stubs is something important that I had to cover because on a belt mega base, any mega base in fact, getting 30% extra performance from literally rearranging a few things is massive. Um, it's massive, massive. In fact, I I'm now looking and saying, can I rearrange you know, this insertion? Can can what else can I do to squeeze that little bit of extra performance out of it? Um, yeah, you know, I'm not sure if belt stubs would work on the north lane. Um, there's no real way to fit them in, but, you know, that's a separate problem for a separate time. Um, same goes for my iron smelting. Like, in theory, actually, definitely, I could put belt stubs all the way through each one of these, which would make a massive difference to the UPS performance of every single smelter. And as we're going to use belts everywhere, um, that's all going to add up. And it's going to add up a lot over time. Um, I don't think every single one of these builds. Every single one of them. Um, well, actually, this is a perfect example. Uh, show... Active state. These guys at the front never, ever, ever turn off. 
Um, these guys further up. Yeah, the, the further up the belt, the more often they'll turn off. But, like... Like, this is green chips. This is missing plastic. And these guys are not really turning off. Um, like, this guy's on now. There's nothing for him to do. He should spend a lot more time in the off sleeping state. Um, basically, the, the game's calculated the first couple of inserters on every belt to be on looking at what's coming down the belt. Um, assuming he doesn't grab it, he doesn't grab it, he doesn't grab it, then this guy turns on. Um, but on long, long belt builds, it means a lot of these inserters are on all the time. These guys can't output. And they're, you know, they're, they're active. You know, they are flickering. So they are checking all the time. They are in a partial sleep mode. But yeah. Um, like this, this, this could add up. Really, really add up for performance drain. Um, in the game. Like these guys are doing just about nothing. And they keep flicking on. Yeah, yeah. Like I said. It's, it's an interesting th thing that I've learned, and it's going to change the way we, we think about things and the way we build things. Oh, really? I got speed modules? And... Get the grenades. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, and, and just as importantly, you've might maybe learned something new. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye!